Less than eight hours to go until we wrap up our Idaho Gives event. Right now, more than 16,000 donors have raised more than $3.5 million during the two week event. The last nonprofit we wanted to tell you about is one whose mission is to keep families together during difficult times, the Ronald McDonald House Charities of Idaho. I caught up with Executive Director Mindy Plumley over FaceTime. First off, Mindy, talk with me about the Ronald McDonald Charities and how many people you help here in the community. Ronald McDonald House Charities um, operates the Idaho Ronald McDonald House. Um, earlier this year, on February 1st, we opened the doors to our new 47-room facility. And we basically take care of families while the hospital takes care of their sick child. So. Um, the first 30 days we were open in the new space, we had over 80 families that had stayed with us. So families who had traveled to the Treasure Valley to get care for um, their children in one of the area hospitals, either St. Alphonsus Pediatrics or St. Luke's Children's Hospital. And then the family is able to stay with us. So we give them a place outside of the hospital to stay, food, um, just try and take care of as many worries and concerns that they might have so they can focus all of their time and energy on their sick child. Um, we are 100% funded by the community. Um, that's really one of, I think, the amazing things about this community. Uh, we see ourselves as, as an asset um, to the community, so people's support really makes a difference for us and helps us um, fulfill our mission each and every day. So um, we are, I won't say struggling, we're adjusting <laughs> to our new normal. Um, yeah. For the past several weeks, um, we have not had any volunteers, which are really for us the heart of everything we do. Our volunteers are the ones that work the desk and check families in and out and prepare meals and help us with cleaning. Um, and we've also really seen extra needs that are out there. And so we have tried um, our best to be able to help fill the need wherever we could. So um, still things kind of within our mission, but things that we're not accustomed to doing. For example, um, the cafeterias in the hospitals are um, closed to visitors. So parents who um, are able to spend time with their child in the hospital, um, we've been helping by delivering lunches to both St. Alphonsus pediatrics and St. Luke's children. So those parents are able to stay at the bedside. And so that's a few hundred meals a week. Really, um, the donations from the community are key to helping to make that happen. And another reminder today is the final day to give. Here's a live look at our donation tracker. If you can, if you have the means to do so, we really urge you to go to idahogives.org or call the number there on your screen, 1-877-434-4837 and give your support.